Hey everybody, this is uh, video two about cataracts. So I was talking about a gentleman who was preparing for cataract surgery. So let me break it down for you. First of all, if you've decided you're gonna get cataract surgery, you have to decide on the type of lens you're going to use. You know, and I've talked about this before that when you get into more complicated designs, uh, this actually can create more confusion for the brain. Now, the surgeon doesn't really think about this because he's looking at your eyes as an optical uh, mechanism, but we have to take in a, into account the brain as well as the eyes. This is why I recommend going with a single vision lens, correcting both eyes for distance. Uh, when you do that, you uh, support your eyes and brain to be able to maintain the depth perception, so important. So if you correct one eye for distance and one eye for near, you're splitting your brain, and this could actually create double vision and much more confusion and visual stress. So, if your doctor wants to do something like a bifocal lens or even an astigmatism lens, I would really think twice about that because uh, first of all, the insurance is probably not going to cover it, but more importantly, it's going to be much harder for you to figure out how to use the new lenses uh, when you get them. Okay, now, let's say the surgery is uh, a week away, two weeks away. You know, it's important to do some essential things to boost your immune system, reduce your inflammation, reduce your stress. So, of course, you know, making sure on a systemic level and a metabolic level, you're balanced. So this may mean going to your acupuncturist or your naturopathic doctor and making sure you reduce any inflammation that you have systemically, making sure metabolically you're lined up. Uh, reducing stress is another factor. Uh, so these are basic things. I like to do uh, things like maybe uh, homeopathic eye drops and uh, also boosting my eye nutrients. Uh, these would be things that I would consider. And then when you go for the surgery, um, you're going to have a better resiliency in your health to be, to be able to um, really come through it successfully.